friends, this is Firearm Pop, and I'm here. This is a video response to a good friend, Colonel Salty Shellback. And he's doing an appreciation contest for uh, ex-military. And uh, there'll be a link to his channel down below. And uh, the kind of things he wanted to know was some kind of proof that you were in the military, a war story, and uh, um, some other paraphernalia. But anyway... Uh, I thought I'd start off right here. I got two interesting documents right behind me. Okay, the first one, let's see if we can get this in frame here, is a certificate of recognition uh, to Firearm Pop. Uh, in recognition of your service during the period of the Cold War. Uh, to September 45 through 26, December 1991. Uh, in promoting peace and stability in this nation, this uh, people of this nation are forever grateful. And that's signed by Donald Rumsfeld. Okay. The next thing I have on, on my wall right here are the three service medals that I have earned while I was active duty. And uh, one was National Defense, one was the Vietnam Campaign, and the other was the Vietnam Service Medal. Uh, so those are the three medals that are on my DD-214, and uh, I can wear proudly. Okay, now we're going to go off to a, uh, a picture of me in uniform, which I'll put in right here. And uh, that was taking aboard the USS Blandy back in 1967. And uh, I did a whole series of videos called My War Stories. And uh, there's plenty of stories in there to pick one. And I will pick one and uh, show it at the end of this, uh, this video. We were on the firing line. And, uh, <clears throat> and took uh, on some hostile fire. Didn't get hit, praise God. But... Uh, uh, when you saw that 5-inch 54 mount uh, in rapid fire, guess who was down at the bottom of that turret uh, pumping brass into uh, this huge turret okay, that went around. Now, now normally during a, uh, a regular run, we would, uh, we would sit there and, and, and load ammo. That was my battle station, down loading the turret. So we'd get uh, live ammo passed through a firewall. Uh, the magazine was on the other side. We get the ammo passed through, and we our job was to put it in the turret. Now, like I said, these these the, the shell was composed of two components: the projectile and the powder. And they were bo all both about I'd say two and a half foot uh, long and uh, and five inches around. And they weighed probably somewhere in the area of sixty to seventy pounds each. Anyway, when, when we would load those, it would be, you know, pull it out of the magazine, turn around, carry it over to the turret, and put it in. And, uh, and it, you know, it, it, was, it, it was an effort, okay? Each one was an effort. And, uh, and so, you know, you do that, and, and we go through, uh, uh, whether drills or live fire, we, we would, you know, load whatever shells we needed. Uh, whether they fire them or not, sometimes we have to take them back out and put them back into the magazine. Anyway, it was a chore, and that was our battle station. And every time we had a drill, that's where I was. Anyway, <clears throat> during that live sequence that you saw, when we were in rapid fire mode, I, well, I never saw it. Of course, the whole turret was loaded before we even started. And as they fire those slow moving rounds, we were down there, you know loading them one by one in the same method. Every time an empty chamber came up, you, you threw a new shell in it. When you hear uh, explosions, of course, when you hear the, the, them announce uh, hostile fire, and you hear the explosions right outside the bulkhead, okay, and you, you can hear the, the percussion of those rounds going off, uh, those rounds became 
featherweight. I mean, we were grabbing them out and throwing them in like they were toothpicks. I mean, it, we could not keep up with that turret. And we, they just flew. The adrenaline was pumping. You can hear the, the you know, of course the gun mouth is going in rapid fire. And you just got those shells and you're pumping them and pumping them and pumping them. Um, uh, quite an experience. And, uh, and of course, very afraid. <laughs> okay, very afraid. Um, let me go back to No Atheist in Foxholes. Got some interesting comments on my comment of No Atheist in Foxholes. But that's, that's another video, another day. Um, so anyway, uh, that's my uh, live fire and, and drawing. Now, so I hope that concludes uh, my requirements f to be entered into Salty Showback's uh, uh, appreciation of uh, military. And I really appreciate him doing this. It was a nice thing to do. So uh, this is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there and God bless. Bye now.